I've always wondered how people who walk dogs make money. Like, how are you making 100K a year walking dogs? <laughs> like, yo, I'm going to move to New York for this. Hey. Oh, look how cute they are, man. I wouldn't Aww. even say that I love dogs. I would say that I refuse to have a life that does not have dogs in it. Who okay. I am is someone who wants dogs around. I don't even think of myself as loving dogs. It's just they're almost like an extension. Like, I don't yeah. love my right hand, you know? It's just there. It's almost like I'm like a member of a dog pack. Come on, come on, let's go. Yo, one time I had to like babysit a dog, man. Like, I, I don't envy this lifestyle. It's like, yo, I wish dogs could talk. If they could communicate in a way that I could understand what they're saying, when it wants to pee, when it's feeling some type of way, like just talk to me, man. I'm Ryan Stewart. I have a small dog walking company in Long Island City called Ryan for you Dogs. You forgot a dog. And hey. without a college degree, I've managed to make six figures a year walking dogs, doing something I love. Come on, Addy. That's great. A good dog walker is focused, attentive. You want to prevent the dog from getting hurt. You have to watch like traffic. You have to watch the dogs don't fight each other. Okay. That's it. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Come on. That's enough. It's not one of those things that you can put on some AirPods and listen to music while you're doing it. Then you would be like a bad dog walker. You can't make too many mistakes. If you make a mistake walking dogs, let's say like the dog's tail gets caught in a door and the tail's broken and then that's a $2,000 vet bill. Or you drop the leash and the dog runs into the middle of Jackson Avenue and gets run over. Okay, we don't want that. Like, yo, <laughs> if I trusted my dog with you, you better make sure my dog doesn't die in your, you know, in your hands. My chore as an adolescent was walking the dog. My brother mowed the lawn and some of my sisters, let's say they set the table or something like that. Well, Ryan's chore was to walk the dog. Sit. As a typical actor, I did pickup jobs and I made some money doing that, but I would also wait tables on the side. Someone told me that I was good with dogs. More than one person told me, and several people told me. And so I went to dog walking. So then I just started out with like one or two dogs, you know, and, and just walked one or two dogs for like half a year before that became three or four. And, and, you know, it just took me several years before my income got up. I can easily pull in six figures after taxes, walking dogs. If I really wanted to push it and hire more people, I could easily probably make a half a million a year doing this. But I, I kind of settled on just maybe 100, 120,000 a year. And low. I like how he just speaks. Like, yo, man, I can make five hundred thousand if I wanted to just walking dogs in New York. And like, I'm like, where's my flight? I'm coming to walk some dogs, man, for half a meal. Stress. There are some drawbacks. Like, I don't, you know, I have to buy my own health insurance, or uh, there's no vacation, no paid vacation, and you have to pick up the poop. You don't forget that, you know. This is the most glamorous aspect of the job. So it's not all fun and games. Sometimes there's rain, sometimes there's sleet, and of course, uh, there's always the poop. This is one reason I don't actually own a dog. I ain't picking up nobody's poop. I don't care if you're a dog or a human being, I'm not doing it, all right? Like, what, what are we doing? Why are we picking up? <laughs> On a typical weekday, I'll do like two, three, three hours of walks in the midday. Ah, supposed to catch it. Then I'll take a break and then I'll do an evening shift, which is like two or three hours. And then that's it for the day. There we go. As people are strapping on their goggles and joining the metaverse, I am sticking with the old school um, paper-based planning system. And wow. this is where I schedule everything, which means that if there's a mistake or, or cancellation or an add-on, I have to scribble it out. It's usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I personally use my own equipment walking dogs. I like using four foot leashes and collars. I like to have control of the dog's head. If you have the dog on a harness and there's a chicken bone there and the dog tries to get it, well, the harness isn't very effective to keep the head from ducking down and snatching it, but a collar will prevent the dog from doing it. Man, there's technology and science into walking dogs. You see, man, like it'll be difficult.
Man, the main charge is twenty dollars for forty-five. Okay, that's that's reasonable, no? Like twenty dollars for now. Yeah, okay. You Come on, Eddie. At least half of my business from referrals, what? and then another half from my website. Good. I only let's respond go. to let's say ten percent of those. Sometimes I can see automatically it's not a good fit, and other times I'm just too busy. So, like for those of you I never got back to, I'm sorry. Some you know you're making money when you start turning down money. You're like, ah, nah, my bad. Sometimes I'll have like an unusual request. One example is I want my dogs to always be wearing its boots. That's something I'll just turn them down because your dog wants to feel the earth. We as humans have allowed ourselves to drift farther away from the earth, you know, from the, the, the energy of the world. The animals are still close to the earth and they still feel the, the life force of, of the planet. And so if you put your boots on dogs, then you're, 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 you're severing that connection. If you want your the boots on the dogs just so you can keep your apartment clean, then then you want your apartment clean at the expense of your dog's happiness. Mm. And my business is called Ryan for Dogs. Ryan for dogs, no Ryan for people. <laughs> see this little guy, you can see by the way he prances, he's kind of macho. Like he doesn't think that he's small. Come on. Thank you. Personally, the greatest challenge for walking dogs is handling some of the difficult owners. See you next week, thank you. Because owners are getting increasingly more demanding and there's more cameras and there's more dog trackers and so you have people looking over your shoulder all the time and the thing is it makes it a little bit more stressful to actually handle the dogs if the owners are always like hounding you, you know, <laughs> hounding you. Oh. Do you want me to like pay attention to your dog or do you want me to be looking at the phone? And they have a dog tracker, you know what I mean? Like, so they know where their dog is all the time. So you know when I'm walking your dog. So why do you need me to text you also on top of that? I don't want to be on my phone. I don't want to be on my phone. If I'm on my phone, I'm not looking at your dog. And then your dog can get into some kind of trouble, like eat like some kind of like rat poison off the street because I'm on the phone texting you, telling you all about your dog. You know, you can tell like he's been waiting to tell someone his story like, yo man, I need somebody to just listen to me about these dog problems and these dog owners who just keep on talking to me like relax dog owners and your dog's eating rat poison you know kisses kisses good all the restrictions that came in 20 and 2021 you know where people had to avoid each other and some of them lost their jobs and then they were home and they could walk their own dogs that completely changed the business like at least half the walkers i knew had to fold shop and they're gone now Let's say the lasting effects of the pandemic are more people work from home. And so, yeah, man, the pandemic made it rough. Like, that's how we ended up having a dog that I had to walk. Like, I'm like, yo, my kid is like, yo, I want this dog. I'm like, yo, kid, like, who has to walk this dog? You, dad, have to walk the dog. I'm like, why should I walk your dog? Like, you walk your dog. Like, <laughs> there's more dog owners at home that want you to walk their dog. Well, when the dog owner isn't home, the dog usually happily comes to the door or wants to go for the walk. But if the owner's home, they don't want to leave their owner because they love their owner. That's their number one person. Yeah. I think every year there's more money invested in pets without missing one year. I think every single year, more money, more money, more money. What I think is happening is we are becoming more technologically inclined. There's less human interaction. So people then, where do they put their, their emotional outlet? So they start investing more money on their pet. They touch their pet more. They cuddle their pet more. They put their, their dogs inside baby strollers and wheel them around, you know? They don't buy any old dog food anymore. They'll actually buy like, like real beef and cook for their dog or something like that. We don't belong to groups as much as we used to. People stay home more. And so where do they put their affection and, and their need to touch? They, they do it with their cats and their dogs. Right. It's a relationship that goes back tens of thousands of years. So they're very patient with us. Yeah. There's a lot to be admired about that. That's one thing about dogs, man. Like, you can tell their loyalty to the human being. It's just, I wish they could talk. I just want to spend some time with some nice dogs here and there and make a decent living out of it. And I think I've gotten fortunate that I, that I do. Man, New York just seems like that place of hustlers, man. Like, anything you do will make you end up having a lot of money with for yourself you know um i i don't know if i if i'll be able to walk dogs like i struggle with one dog multiple i'll just i'll just go crazy but shout out to him man like this is crazy it's crazy like the amount of money people make in new york hundred thousand dollars just walking dogs like who knew <laughs>
who knew? So yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think of this video in the comment section. Let me know which other videos I should be checking out. Subscribe to the channel. I'll definitely see you in the next one. See you in the next one.